Hola bonitas, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and wear test on the new Smashbox Always On Skin Balancing Foundation plus hyaluronic acid and adaptogens. We are going to be going right into this. You guys know, in-depth review and wear test. So if you wanna continue watching and see how this performs, in esta carita, then please go ahead and do so. I actually just purchased this from my local Ulta. Um, this does retail for $45, 45 dollars, and I am like, oh, that is not cheap. So they did have the display with their foundation shades, and I was going back and forth with what shade I wanted to get. I ended up getting the shade M10N. So that one is medium with neutral undertones. And we shall see how that one performs. This is a long wearing foundation with skin balancing oil control. Me gusta porque I have oily skin. Tengo piel grasa. So I need something that is going to give me that oil control. Um, and hydration that supports skin instantly and over time. Buildable coverage for a visibly even natural look. 16 hour wear color true wear it's supposed to give us a natural looking finish it is primer infused for 16 hours i'm actually really excited about that because we don't have to go in with a primer and we can really kind of see how this performs i just got mis uñas done and i kind of went simple this time around because next time i'm gonna go i'm gonna go all out with my nails can't wait to share with that with you guys if you guys follow me on instagram you guys know i do like nail reels i love doing those nail reels they're so fun and therapeutic for me i just love it but ahorita we kind of went simple and I'm actually loving this. Like the sudden urge to just like use my hands even more when I talk, when I just get my nails done is like a thing. So like always, I personally want to apply this how I like to apply my foundations and that is with a brush and also with a sponge. You guys can see how they both look on both sides. About the product. That's what it looks like. It is a runny formula. Oh, but when you blend it out, it does have like a creaminess to it. So we are just gonna apply this a C and then up here, y un poquito acá, like so. So we're gonna start off with a sponge. I'm just using my Juvia's Place sponge, and this is gonna just help kind of press the product in. Ooh, this color looks good. It actually gives almost like a soft matte finish in my opinion and like i said i do not have any primer on the skin it's just the foundation and it says that it's primer infused so it's going to give us that longevity hopefully but like miren miren la diferencia with the foundation without foundation now i do have redness like i said that's the main thing that i like to cover if it covers my redness well then it's definitely a product that I would appreciate because as somebody that does have redness and things that they want to cover, I do appreciate a foundation that's going to give me that coverage. Y si me está dando esa cobertura. Oh, it blends right into my forehead. My forehead tends to be a little bit warmer than like my cheeks and stuff. Um, so I feel like whatever matches my forehead will be a good match for like my all of our complexion. Y este color si... Me queda muy bien. I'm just going in with one pump and it's giving me what it needs to give. Like it's a really nice like buildable coverage product. And like I just feel like it looks like skin. Look at that. Sometimes my cheek area can have little dry patches just from like the texture and rosacea. But right now it actually looks pretty good. And it is applying well with the damn sponge. I feel like the damn sponge just really allows it to become one with your skin. Okay, I'm gonna build it up just a little bit right here because I wanna see how this product builds up. It applies beautifully like that and I could just leave it like this because I feel like it does give me good coverage. It still looks like natural skin, but I do wanna go in and just kind of see how it builds up. Oh, okay, it builds up nice. Okay, I honestly, didn't go into this room with any expectations maybe because i didn't necessarily know like the claims of it i just went into this like oh smashbox has a new foundation i need to check it out para mi gente para mis bonitas and i feel like now that i'm trying it i'm like wait this is actually like low-key living up to its description and i also like the fact that it does contain that hyaluronic acid because i love good just like hydration and all that good stuff. It also does have the sugar kelp, which controls the oils. I love a good foundation that offers like good skincare benefits. I'm like, yep, 
That is what I'm all about these days. It just looks really good. Se ve muy bonito. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. And this side we are gonna be using a brush. Typically when I go in with a brush, I honestly don't have to go in with more product because I feel like brushes give me a little bit more cobertura, coverage. Um, so I just feel like it may only need this one pump that we went in with. Using an It Cosmetics brush. This has been one of my go-tos. I wanna see if this is gonna oxidize. Oh, this blends so nicely. But I'm still seeing like that healthy, almost like skin finish. Yeah, this is good. And I really like the color. I have to say, I do feel like it oxidizes a little bit. I feel like this side has set a little bit longer and it does look a little tiny bit warmer than this side. But honestly, I don't mind it because I do feel like right now my complexion, like I, during the summer tends to kind of shift more into like warmer, especially because I do get like a tan and all that. So I do feel like it kind of pulls a little warmer during the summer months. So let's see. Oh yeah, this blends really beautifully with the brush. They also came out with a concealer pen. So let me know if you guys want me to review that as well. And I can definitely do a review on that. I did mention a few videos ago, maybe that I have been looking to try out new concealers. So I'm very, very intrigued to try out more concealer products. So if you guys want me to do a review on the new Smashbox concealer, let me know. Here we have it with the sponge, with the brush. Honestly, I feel like they both look very similar. Either or is gonna apply it very beautifully. I think it looks good. I think it looks really good, really healthy. And like the fact that we don't have a primer underneath, like it's just the foundation, I really like. That's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna try to do it quickly because I did have a late start today. We're starting again, I think last four times we start. I film these on Saturday, so I'm like, I'm trying to get a lot done in the morning and also i needed to pick up the product entonces i did a little bit later to start but you guys know i'll go all the way into like midnight if need be I'll come back like whispering because i don't want to wake anybody up and i'll be like okay guys these are my thoughts but um i like it me gusta so i'm gonna go ahead finish off the rest of my makeup and i will be right back hey bonitas i am back i finished my entire face of makeup and right now it is 3 18 so i didn't take too long we're still at 3 p.m sometimes i take forever on my makeup but this is a quick easy glam i know you guys are gonna ask me what i'm wearing on the eyes and it's literally the same thing i wear in every single video i'll let you guys know when i do decide to change what i wear the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette. It's literally so dirty, but that just goes to show that this is literally my most used palette. I love this palette. I hope they make it a permanent item. Okay, vamos a hablar sobre la base. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and I wanted to show you guys how it looks with the rest of my products. It actually did really well. I used cream blush, Makeup by Mario, the peach blush. I used some cream bronzer to warm up the face, and honestly, I feel like it did great. It didn't separate with these products. It applied very, very, very beautifully, which I am totally here for. Um, and then, of course, I did my concealer and powder just underneath the eyes. I haven't powdered the face because I wanted you guys to see how this looks. Como se ve? It looked like it was going to give me a soft matte finish. Now that I've layered other products on top, like blush and etc., I feel like it looks more of like a subtle radiant finish. Um, so I definitely do think that if you're somebody that does have oily skin, you're going to want to powder this. Um, or if you're somebody that does have dry skin, I think you'll love a little bit of the radiance. Cause I mean, who doesn't love the radiance? I'm literally like doing this and I'm like, oh, these nails, I'm obsessed with this color. But anyways, that's kind of what we have going on right now. Lo que voy a hacer ahorita is I am gonna take a pressed powder. I'm taking the Reina Rebelde one and I'm going to just use this to set one side of the face, just cause I wanna see how it does with powder and without powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and set right here. Ooh, powder looks really beautiful on top of this. Some foundations do not look good with powder, pero este sí se ve bonito. I just want to like show you how it sets, but that's a good thing. I like when a foundation performs well with a powder because as somebody that does have oily skin, 
I do need something that's not gonna separate or look cakey with powder. Eh, esto no se ve. Now, obviously, for me, because I do have texturized skin, you can see more of that texture more noticeably when you do have a little bit of radiance versus powdering it up. So that's kind of what we have going on. I am gonna take a little bit of powder on the nose so you guys can see. Like, it just looks different. Um, so I definitely do think that if you are somebody that does have oily skin, you're gonna wanna powder this. Unless you don't mind that, you can totally leave it like that. But I just wanted to show you guys on camera how it sets, and I definitely do feel like it sets into a like natural radiance, um, as opposed to when I first applied it, where it did look like a soft matte finish. I feel like once you layer things on, you're gonna get some radiance. But besides that, I really love how I perform with all my products and how it looks, um, and it feels very, very weightless. So I am really enjoying it. I also do like the color. I feel like the color suits me very nicely for my summer shade. I definitely would recommend this color. Right now, 322, so vamos a empezar el wear test. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, as always, do an in natural lighting clip so you guys can see how this looks with a natural light, up close and personal. Um, and then we're just gonna wear this for the entire day to see how it does. You guys know me. I'm probably gonna take this up until midnight para que puedan ver cómo me va con esta base. I am here in natural lighting with the foundation. So this is the side where we went in with the powder right here. And then this is the side where we didn't apply any powder. We just left the foundation as is. So this is what we're kind of looking like. You can definitely see the radiance, my texture a little bit more compared to the side where we powdered. But I have to say, even if you do go in with powder with this foundation, I do feel like it gives you a pretty finish, a like skin-like finish. So this is with just the foundation. And then with the powder. So, los for my final thoughts. Okay, bonitas, I am back. Right now it is 11.14 p.m. Y vamos a hablar sobre esta base. And this is the side where we didn't powder, so you guys can definitely see the difference. I would say if you do have oily skin, you definitely want to set this foundation in place um, after you apply it because I think it will make a difference between setting it and not setting it. I will say I was outside. It was so humid today. I was outside playing with my dog and that's another reason why I'm super sweaty. I naturally sweat easily, so that's why we look like this. Pero, um, yeah, I would say if you have oily skin, definitely set it because you guys can see the difference between setting it and not setting it very dewy i think this foundation would be great for somebody that has maybe dry to combination skin um, but if you have very oily skin i would definitely either set it or i would choose something else because this isn't cheap it's 45 dollars. but i will say i love how the foundation is still perfectly in place and this is without a primer like it did really really good without a primer longevity definitely fantastic like i said i think for dry to combination skin definitely worth checking out if you're on the hunt for a new foundation and you don't mind splurging a little bit yeah that's pretty much it i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please give this video a big thumbs up let's me know continue doing my reviews for you guys you guys know i love doing reviews um so that's what we have i hope that you guys have a fabulous day don't forget to stay safe stay blessed and stay beautiful and i'll be seeing you guys very very soon for a brand new video adios bonita